This is actually one of the biggest updates yet. This is the safest, easiest to recommend foldable on the planet. Easy. Honestly, the most important difference here with the hinge is actually just that it folds completely flat now, which has resulted in less moving parts, which is typically a win for long-term durability. It does just feel more compact, more polished, it's easy to hold, and I really do like it. We have got to talk about this epic new cover display, or what Samsung is calling the Flex Window. This is huge. It's a massive improvement. It's way more screen for checking the time or reading notifications. With the multi-start app from Goodlock, you can run any app on the phone. Now you can open up and browse literally any application like Amazon, Google, Instagram, and believe it or not, even TikTok. I mean, that's just nuts. Samsung's also going to be releasing a really interesting cover with inserts. So every time you place a new insert in the case, it'll automatically change the cover screen wallpaper to match the case. You can go absolutely wild customizing the Flex window, and it's one of the most fun things about this phone. Another great feature of the cover screen is the camera viewfinder. It's now so much bigger and can be fully relied on to frame up shots. It actually took some of my favorite shots because I could use a much better main camera to take my own pictures. And what I really love is you now have even more control because they've gone and added more settings. Like adjusting the aspect ratio or filters, because these pics were taken with the main camera, they're super crisp. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy does seem to be quite a bit more efficient. For a small phone, the battery life isn't even bad, especially for lighter tasks like going on social media. The phone is super responsive, it's snappy, apps open quickly, there's no issues here. It can also handle heavy gaming, it can do it, it's great.